name is Tony Roller. I'm a Santa Clara potter and I'm going to show you how these pots are made with a, um, we don't, I don't have a potter's wheel so I use uh, the coil method which I, where I put the, uh, the clay on this board and I roll the clay like a rope and I attach one coil at a time and then I seal the coils with a rock. And then I form all the pots I have here, or what you see here, are formed with my hands and the tools I use. So uh, I'll show you. This one here on this board is already made, and it's still wet. So uh, uh, this is a small one. And then you'll find in my studio here, you'll find all these other ones which are made a little bit larger and some are flat but they are all made with coils. Now here's one, a flat one that I would like to show with the carving on there and that's sitting there drying now. So that's how these pots are made. When they're finished, when they're finished drying then I will send people this pot and then uh, I will polish it with the polishing stones, river stones. And here's the, some of the stones that I use. First what I would do is apply this wet clay paint on the dry pots and enough coats to go into the pot or the surface, maybe one eighth of an inch deep in there. And then I will take the stones and some of these stones are my grandmother's stones. Some are my mother's and grandmother's. And it could have been even my great grandmother's stones. And uh, this is what I use to shine the pots up. And now in the fire, the pots go in a reddish color, but they're all shiny. And uh, at a certain stage in the fire, and all these pots are fired outdoors. So these pots will go into the fire reddish color and uh, certain stage in the fire, the whole bonfire will be covered over. And that is to seal the coils or the pots in there, they'll be sealed, uh, the, the fire will be smothered. And what happens in that mound of manure is uh, where the oxygen uh, uh, is cut off and carbon is produced and that's why the pots when they go into the reddish color into the fire they turn black at that stage and we have a couple of them here sitting which were fired this morning and they are still a little bit warm but they are just finished now as you can see they are not as shiny as the ones on the shelf but they still need to, to be cleaned and they will have to sit here overnight, 24 hours before I can clean them. And cleaning, I will wash them with a detergent soap and a rag, and I'll use that on the pots. And then I'll rinse them off with cold water. And then I will, when they dry, I will uh, get a uh, paper towel, soft paper towel or a cloth, and I will rub the excess soot that's left on the pots. And this is how they're finished. This is the last step in the, uh, in the pottery making I do.